We all know that in terms of video editing, Premiere Pro is a great software. But if you want to do advanced motion graphics, tracking, VFX work, then you need to use After Effects, right? So today I'm going to show you how you can integrate After Effects with your Premiere Pro project. In Adobe Premiere Pro, you can actually use Adobe Dynamic Link to use any part of your project in After Effects so that you can go back and forth. Suppose you want to do a motion graphics, you can do that kind of work in After Effects, then it will automatically update the work that you have did in After Effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. So today I'm going to show you how you can do that in Adobe Premiere Pro. So first, let's start with a simple text which is adding a basic text animation you know when you are using adobe premiere pro you don't have that much option to animate any text right so in that kind of scenario you can certainly use after effects how you can do that suppose i want to use a lower third here and i want to have a typewriter effect on my text how i can do that first i need to make a new text layer if you click here on the type tool then you can just write your name in that case james prince and i will just change the font i'm going to essential graphics if you don't see go to window then here click essential graphics then just change the font and size as you like i'll increase the size a little bit and then i maybe adjust the position right so that is the lower third of my name and i want to animate the text and i want to have a typewriter effect in adobe premiere pro it is not that much easy task if you want to animate the text and if you want to have typewriter effect but you can certainly use after effects just right click here then click replace with after effects composition if you click there then after effects will fire up but remember when you are using dynamic link and adobe premiere pro you need to use the same version of after effects and premiere pro in uh, in order to link it properly otherwise it will not work so here you can see after effects has been opened and it will ask me to make a new after effects project so there i'll just click ok and i have to give it a name and select where you want to save it in that case i will just save it here on the desktop then click save so now you need to double click here on this layer then you'll see a text layer has been appeared and you have to enable the effect here on this text in order to achieve the typewriter effect to apply the typewriter effect you need to search it from effects and preset panel from this one if you don't see effects and preset then go to window and from here select effects and preset this one right click there then this panel will appear and from here search for typewriter this one just click and drag this typewriter effect on top of your text layer now if you just play it back you will see there is an effect going on right that is a typewriter effect but the intensity is not perfect i want to adjust the setting a little bit to adjust the setting you can just select the text layer and you can press u on your keyboard then you'll see there are two separate keyframe right just click and drag this to speed up the animation right if i play it back you'll see the animation speed have been increased again if i just click and drag it a little bit more great now i want to have a disappear effect at the end of my animation right so take your playhead where you want to start the disappear effect i will keep my playhead here then click here on this range selector and here on this add keyframe then there you'll see a keyframe have been added then go to at the end of your animation and then you can just decrease the range selector just like that if i play it back you can see the animation have been completed i can just press ctrl s to save it and i can get back to adobe premiere pro and here if i play it back you'll see the animation have been updated here now to complete the animation i need to add a sound effect which is typewriter effect right so to download a typewriter effect i'll go to my epidemic sound page and i'll search for typewriter by the way if you want to use music or sound effect on your video then you can use epidemic sound that is a great service and i've been using that service for a year and i really love that service i'll put a link in the description below so that you can click on that link and you'll get one month free trial so please check the link in the description so i'll search for typewriter 
then I'll go sound effect and here you'll see a lot of type rated effect I think I should search for keyboard types yeah it's perfect I'll download it and then I'll just click and drag it here in Premiere Pro and I'll put it here so I have to make sure where the animation have been started a great audio and I'll make a cut here and then I'll put it here again a lot of noise then maybe yeah that's it if I play it back again putting a great audio signal if you record the audio with a lot of noise then maybe you are not able to so that's all that is how you can use premiere pro and after effects together to get some awesome result i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye